Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to a new series I am starting called Honey Pop. So, this game is pretty much like the sexy version of Candy Crush, where it's also a dating sim game. So, as you can see, these are pretty much all the girls here that you can go out with. So without further ado, everybody, let's start this game. Hmm. Let's go. Because I'm a male. Alrighty. Sunday night. Bar and lounge. Hi there. Uh, uh, what, what, who, me? Uh, hi, hello! Uh, uh, what, who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, me? Oh. Hmm. Let's see. You're like really, really cute. Oh, sir, I just don't talk to many girls. I think I'm in love with you. That's a little, that's a little, uh. Huh. That's a little fast, don't you think? I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> My name is Q. Nice to meet you. Q? You mean like the letter, even though I can read it down here, but you know, like the letter? You, that's a weird name. I literally can't remember my name right now. Remember how her name? Did they even write a name? Right. We'll try that again later. Look, dude, are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Holding what together? My drink? My notebook? Am I doing homework here? The bar? Oh, is that a picture? That... Uh, top left? That portrait of someone kissing? Oh no, I just, uh, I just... Hmm, nah, I'm chill, I'm chill. What do you mean? I'm fine. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Oh no, I forgot to put on my deodorant! Uh-oh. Oopsie daisies. Is it that obvious? Shit, yeah, sorry, I should just go. Well, it's just that you're so pretty and stuff. Hmm. Get this or way. you could just stop being so weird about it. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy. It is? Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! We will. Oh. Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! Rise and shine? It's still night time! I said get up! But, but it's night time, look, look it's, it says night! Uh, hmm, five more minutes. Aw, oh, I was having the best dream. Alright, alright, I'm up, I'm... Mmm. Oh, it's having the best dream. <laughs> I bet you were. Let's get him. Then he's still dreaming. Wow, wow, wait, who are you? How did you get in here? I'm calling the police. I'm going with this one. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. I'm so confused right now. What's going on? Yeah, but you had brown hair, also not wings. Huh? Did you, I mean, did we... Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. A love fairy? Oh, well why didn't you just say so? Okay, but fairies aren't actually a thing. Question, what exactly is a love fairy? Well, I mean... I mean, if she's already here, I think that's it, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You, though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. What does that mean? Greatest accomplishment. I'm still having a hard time accepting the fairy thing. It kind of crushes my reality. 
Thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing just fine on my own. Why do you want to help me? What's in it for you? Man, you and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? Mm. We need to get started right away. I do? Tell me, how many dates have you been on? How many dates have I been on? I mean, you know, an amount. Yeah, that, that'll totally, you know, not give it away. Like actual dates of physical girls. Wait, what do you do? Have like blow up dolls and those Japanese robotic... Uh... Um... Robots? Things? Forgot what they're called. But yeah, Japanese people have them now. Reminds me of, uh... Oh, ever... Hmm... Anyone ever read that anime called, uh... Chobits? Chobits? Or, or not, not manga. That's what I meant, manga. I always... I, I, I always called manga anime i don't know why but when i i just always called it that way when i was young and so it's always stuck in my head every, every time i called it that <laughs> define date oh my god it's worse than i thought isn't it <gasps> all right grab your shit we're going on a date right now but someone has to show you the ropes i, I don't i know uh, a place nearby that's open pretty late you'll love it I, or not i don't care wow but but I don't I don't want to grab my my poopy. I that's why I took a dookie in the toilet. I don't want to grab that. Where are we? Ooh. All right. I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. The date. Grid. These little pieces are called tokens. Oh. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Where? The orange ones? Oh, this one. Oops. Ooh, ooh. I know my colors. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Oh. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. Oh. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid. The red ones. Ooh. Wait. I just noticed you're in your underwear. Are you always in your underwear? You. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. Oh. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The Ooh. broken heart tokens are bad news. Bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Bad news bears. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Oh. Matching those gives you... Well, sentiment. Ah. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Uh huh. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. It is? <gasps> like I said, the teddy bear. you need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column the teardrops. Oh. Ooh. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Uh, wait, oh. What does it say again? Convert all broken heart tokens into passion tokens. Ah! Ooh! Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. Oh. So you can use them on your next date, too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Oh, so we're on a date? All right. You can't as a real girl, because I mean, you're a fairy. Yeah. Bam! Oh my, oh my god, four! Yes! You're doing so well. Oh man, I don't have any more gifts. Hmm. Get more. Ooh, bells. Ooh, yes, four! Ooh! 
Oh, okay. The passion will increase the percentage of everything I do. That is some neato stuff. Hmm. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Oh, no. Got some bad hearts. Hmm. Orange stuff. Green stuff. Orange stuff. More blue stuff. Wait, do you not like blue? Because that's like the least thing that you've been getting. Huh. You like red? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Maybe. I think. Yeah. Green? Ooh, she likes green. Alright. Ooh, four. Yes! Success! <gasps> we get monies. What's money? Is it honey? Nice. What's this jam? See, I knew you had it in you. Alright, I got some dollar dollar bills and I don't have any jam though. Oh man. I'm sad. No jam for me. What is that? Myth. Oh shit. It's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you. Oh. And this is important. It is? Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology. The Honeybee 4.0. Ooh, Honeybee 4.0. The Honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. I'm a big to boy. To access the Honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead. Break that bad boy open. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm clicking that button up top. Where is this? Dirty magazine. Tissue box. Used for wiping your nose or cleaning up other various bodily fluids. Yeah, like my butt. When I had to go take a dookie. Or uh, reading material that you only look at for the interesting articles. Yes, sir. Read. You read all those story articles, guys? That's what I do. Only in this game. Yes. Uh, nothing. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Yeah. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. All right. Or we just chill here and play video games. I'm not ready. Please don't make me do this. Hell yeah. Let's do this shit. Let's do it. Or play video games. That's. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that too. But you know what? Whatever. Hell yeah. Let's do this shit. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick. You gotta go where the hot chicks are. Where? I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. Scouting? It depends what type of girls you're into. Mm. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Where, where would all the girls go? Shopping mall? Fitness club? Wait, it's, it's Monday. What is Monday? What's good? Fitness club? Donwood Park, Nutmeg Cafe, or University Campus. Good campus. School day. Good choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. I got my game face on. Die. Yay! We're off to school. Oh, hello. Oh, Miss Yumi. I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Oh. Next week? I don't know yet. <laughs> Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Wow. Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. What a, a great teacher? Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so... Uh... Bonus points! Oh yeah, don't worry. 
They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Oh, great. Plot twist. Lovely. <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. Oh. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sideline. Oh. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. Never be afraid. So, so if I, if so, so they're, so they're gonna see me just looking to my left or right, talking to this, to nothing, while I'm actually talking to a fairy. <laughs> it's like, so what should I do? This guy is crazy. What, what is he doing? What, who is he talking to? All right. Well, anyways, let's continue with this. Excuse me. You know where I can find? What? Why am I, why am I talking like her? Okay. Excuse me, do you know where I can find the student union? Would it be too forward of me to ask you on a date? Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but I just thought you were cute and had to say hi. Hmm. Yeah, I got this one. Who? Me? Oh no, I'm so not cute. Oh, you're so modest. Thanks for the compliment. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? Uh, no. But if all the girls here are as cute as you, I might have to reconsider. I'm thinking about would you recommend this school? I, I teach here. Professor Handsome, they call me. Hmm. Look at this one. Of course, this place is awesome. My professors are the best. Uh, are you sure? I mean, she was. She was. I think she made an excuse there about uh, you know, a pounding headache, and hmm. <laughs> And like she, she didn't seem like a knowledgeable teacher. Say, so I don't know what's next week to uh, teach. If I end up going here, you'll have to show me around. Sorry, am I holding you up from getting to class? You strike me as an athletic type. You're on a varsity team? I'll go with this one. Yeah, I'd love that. It's really a beautiful campus too. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. No way! You did it! Yay! Well, with my help, of course. Hey, you didn't help me that I much. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago, uh -huh. since she was in range, range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. So the I'm pumped. The, you pumped? The, yeah, you're pumped. Go get them. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. So so what? So so it's like a uh, stalker finder. What? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Honey Pop. If you guys did. Then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this episode and by subscribing down below. And we will find out what we will know about Tiffany. We're talking with her, ask her on a date, and you know, all of this stuff on here. So everyone, thank you for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!